Since 2008, more people live in cities than anywhere else in the world. And with this rapid urbanization come environmental problems like soil, air and water pollution. And people suffer from that kind of pollution and the disease patterns shift. We call that epidemiological changes. Today we have improved in so-called infectious diseases, but we have worsened in addressing non-communicable diseases like cancer and cardiovascular diseases, which are caused to a large extent by environmental pollution. Our planet is being rapidly urbanized. Globally, we have more than 50 people are living in cities. People move to cities for better life. However, urban ecosystem is highly engineered. Therefore, we must develop nature-based solutions for urban health and well-being. In order to bring the science of urban health and well-being to the intention of policy makers and decision makers in cities globally, we work together with United Nations Programme for the Environment, United Nations Programme for Cities, which is UN Habitat, but also with the World Health Organization, in particular the regional office here in China. But we are also working together with other interdisciplinary science programs of the inter uh, International Science Council, which are co-data, the program on disaster risk reduction and future Earth. Now, with the help and support of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Institute of Urban Environment and other Chinese partners, including Chinese Academy of Social Sciences and various universities, we are exploring how pollution, both air and water, affects health and the human capital. The systems approach is about analyzing and understanding city as, cities as complex systems of people, of nature and of the built environment. Second, the systems approach is about involving people in the understanding of that complexity. We want to build scientific models but use the knowledge which people have in order to better understand how they all interact with another. And third, our program, by developing the systems approach, aims at networking, collaboration, and improving collective intelligence. That's why we are an interdisciplinary program, because we need to work together with other sciences and with other stakeholders apart from academia. Every year, we organize international symposiums which provide a critical platform for people to exchange and share the newest urban health-related knowledge to better understand the urban health and the well-being issue among multidisciplinary and the sectors.
Our program also has cast of publications, including books, journals, and policy briefs about research findings, science events, or development related to urban health and complex systems. With these publications, we would like different disciplines and departments focus on urban health and a systems approach. I think the program on urban health and well-being uh, is particularly important both um, as a local program and also as a global program. The other important aspect of the urban health and well-being program is it's linked to academia. We need to think about how we retrain and train new professionals, emerging professionals for healthy cities globally.